Hello, and in this screencast on Apache Isis, what I want to show you is a domain service I've put together um, to allow us to perform bulk edits on objects using Excel. So um, this is going to be demoed using Estacio. Estacio, as you can see, is running as an application here. Lives up on GitHub, so you can pull, pull down the code. Uh, the domain service is also on, Git, on GitHub. You can see the URL there and uh, Apache Isis itself is on this URL. Let me show you the uh, a demo of the running application. So uh, Estacio is a system for managing invoices for shopping centers. So here's some dummy data. If we look at this particular lease, Hoxford Media X002, then a lease is made up of different items, rent and turnover rent and service charge. These are the, the elements that the, the, the tenant needs to pay for. If we drill into service charge, then you can see that this uh, lease has been running since 2008. And uh, for each of the different uh, years, in this particular case, the service charge element needs to be paid. And um, part of the way this thing works is that there's a budgeted value and an audited value which sort of gets set entered later on and that would need to be updated uh, by the user which they could do with edit um, but as you can probably see from me navigating through there having to update the audited value for lots of the different uh, leases of the different units within the shopping center might take quite a while and be rather painful so we would like to instead allow the users to be able to use a more convenient tool and um, Excel is a tool that most business people know and so let's go back up to Oxford the actual uh, the property Oxford Supermall and uh, what we've got here is a a button an action a contributed action in fact a bulk update for date so I'm going to click on this and this is going to run a query to find all of the service charge uh, terms that are for leases within this property so there's 1st of January 2010 and what we're going to get here is actually a view model. So this is sort of sitting in front of uh, the Oxford Supermall for this particular date. And you can see we've we've pulled out in this case just the one uh, view model, uh, one the one uh, the least term for this service charge. So you can see there's the value, uh, the audited value that was empty that we saw before. I'm going to go and do download here. This is going to call this Excel domain service, and give me back a little spreadsheet and then I can uh, just uh, sp spread that out a bit. So I could put in a new value here. And you can imagine having lots and lots of rows here. And while I'm at it, let's update next next year's value as well. OK, so we can save that. And now I can go back to the upload and choose that file that was just downloaded. And I think it's called that and uh, hit OK and then the values have been updated there in the view model but if I drill down into the underlying uh, domain entity then we can see that the value is updated as well so that's the that's the idea of of this uh, domain service um, so let's sort of look at some of the code that uh, makes up this thing so I've got a property service charge bulk update contributions class so this is the the chap that is going to provide a contributed action for the property entity so let's associate let me show you how this ties back to the uh, user interface let's go back to the oxford supermall so this bulk update for date action here that corresponds to this code here and it's contributed to the property and it's asking us for the other bit of information which is the start date and we have a choices there which is coming from this little query against the repository to find all the different service charge dates and what this is going to return back is a view model of type property service charge bulk update with the memento basically representing the tuple of the property and the start date that we've chosen. So we want to look at the property for that particular date of 1st of Jan 2010. And so if I uh, do that again, 
what we're now looking at you can see from the URL actually is a property service charge bulk update view model and uh, here's the tuple and then this uh, collection over here of service charges is also just uh, actually in fact a collection of view models so um, let's have a look get in the right class or in the wrong class let's go to the view model itself get service charges so that's a list of type list least term for service charge bulk updates that's also another view model and if you untangle the code we've got going on here what I'm basically doing is running a query to find all of the least terms and then for each of the least terms I'm basically instantiating a view model of this type so that's what this collection over here is it's a collection of least term for bulk update uh, where, where each uh, uh, object effectively is wrapping a least term and so when we do the download we're effectively exporting uh, those uh, elements of those that uh, of that type and so let's look at the code that does that in fact uh, where are we um, that will be the download action so here's where we're using the service and we've got a bunch of objects and they could be entities but in this case they're view models and we're giving this to the Excel to service that's going to return back for me a blob which is basically a uh, the spreadsheet and then equivalently we have upload and upload is going to take the spreadsheet and uh, call the service Excel service and uh, goes the other way and basically synthesizes recreates uh, view models and then I iterate through those view models and I set the values on the underlying types so I hope that makes some kind of sense just to sort of give you an idea about the types of things that you can do with a bit of creative thinking um, because ISIS is great for dealing with instances of, of objects but sometimes you know from a business process point of view what you want to do is just give the data to the users in a way that they're used to and as I say most users are used to using Excel so let's give them the tools okay so you can check out all the code on github uh, this is using 140 snapshot uh, 140 is going to be released very shortly so you'll be able to pick up this whenever you need alright hope that was helpful bye now